very well. Now this is the second part for the tutorial of how to make art, a cartoon. And uh, uh, I'm using one of the stylized kits that's from Tokomotion package. And uh, what we're going to do now is to improve the scene. As you can see, the scene doesn't look as it used to look before because I've been working on it. Because if I work on it while I'm doing the tutorial, it may take me more than 15 minutes. So I'm just going to go through real quick and I'm going to choose the avatar. And we're going to go to the material tab, which is on the right hand panel on the third icon. And we're going to go to the face of the avatar, which is right here. It's already selected. Remember, you select the eyedropper and then select the face. You go down and we're going to add a glow. OK, now the glow will give you a different kind of look. I'm using a warm color because the skin of the avatar, it's brown. So I want to make sure that it doesn't uh, lose that kind of skin tone. And that's the reason why I'm just using a warm color. So you can use a warm, warm color, which is like the yellow, orange, red, things like that. OK, I'm using this one right here and then I'm decreasing because if it goes all the way up, let me see. We are at 10 right now, but if it goes all the way up, it looks ex extremely yellow. So we're going to lower that and the value I chose is 10, but I can even leave it at 12 or even 15 if I want it a little bit brighter. Uh, just remember one thing. If you are in the timeline and because I moved already, uh, the change is going to occur at that point in the timeline. So make sure that you are at zero because if you are not at zero, it's not going to, the change is not going to, uh, you see right, right here is 10, but over here is 15. So there's two ways to fix this, okay? Um, I'm just gonna show you this way, which is open the the timeline, and uh, you're gonna go to the avatar, and in this arrow right here, you're gonna select the material, and when you select the material, it's gonna show you right here. Uh, let's see. Uh, it's showing you this. This is the, the the mark that I have for the material when it changes. It's brighter right here. If I go a little bit uh, before that, it's not as bright as it was. And I know it may not look like it changed, but we can see it right here. We can see that the value is 10. And if I move to this marker right here, the value is going to be 15. And as you can see right here, well, actually the value is fine. <laughs> I thought it was 15. Okay, I'm going to change it to 15. Uh, let's see. And it's going to create a, another marker. Of, okay, so I'm going to zoom in. I didn't want to show you this. It's actually another tutorial to how to fix these problems. But I'm going to delete that one. And <clears throat> I'm going to move that marker all the way to the beginning. Let's see how that face looks at 15 it looks a little bit brighter you see than what it was before maybe you you can see the difference i don't know if you can but it's at 15 right now and over here is at 10 so i'm just going to move the marker all the way to the beginning and uh, it's going to be at the beginning we're at zero now or at frame number one and it's 15 okay anyways so uh you can do that for the face Add, add the glow and you can do the same for the body and I'm going to add the glow and I'm going to make sure I'm at frame, frame one, which I'm not. So I'm going to go all the way to frame one and I'm going to put the value of 15. Uh, if, you, if I chose a different glow, let's say that I used not a warm one, but a, a cold one. Okay. Uh, the texture is going to change, the skin uh, color is going to change a little bit. It's going to be a little bit paler or lighter maybe. But I'm just going to leave it as it was before. Just want to let you know that you can use whatever glow you want, okay? And it's going to give it a different kind of look. The same thing I did for the houses, like this house right here in the front. I selected the house, and uh, went to the material section, 
and I went down and I added a glow and as you can see the glow is uh, a cold color okay but for the one at the back if I select that one you see that I have two things right here and the one at the back is this one right here okay so for that one right there I have a glow that is warm and I have this I added a blend okay and it's one of the skins that's what I did because I wanted I wanted it to be a little bit lighter in in a warm color this one doesn't have any changes and as you can see it looks entirely different like if it's part of the scene without being part of the scene because it does not really uh compaginate um with whatever i have here so i'm gonna modify this one as well and remember everything has to be at frame zero or frame one and i'm gonna add a glue right there and I'm gonna put it a 10 so it's a 10 already and it looks much better the same with the trees if you can see the difference in the trees the tree at the back at the far back it's lighter than the one at the front and let's see what happened to the one at the front you see the one at the front doesn't have a glow okay you can uh, do whatever you want probably if you have an object that is far away uh, maybe you want it the pro the the object to be a little bit darker like this one this tree probably you want that tree to be darker you see the glow is green so if i don't want to glow I, i'm just going to lower that but i'm just going to keep the glow in case i want to use it later on and i'm going to add a green glow <clears throat> for this one right here i'm going to use this one which is really bright and i'm going to lower that to a 10 let's see how that looks like it looks extremely bright let's try a five it still looks a little bit too bright let's try a different kind of glow i'm gonna try this glow okay now that looks a little bit better and at five i think it's okay so I, I, that's the way you change the scenery okay uh you will have to do the same for every prop that you have in the scene this one i did not add any glows right here as you can see doesn't have any glow and it has more than one map so you'll need to make sure that whatever map you are choosing and you're adding a glow uh, it, it, you see it's affecting just one one map so um, you have to change for each map if the prop is composed of more than one map you have to choose each map each map and you have to be changing the value of the glow so that uh, you get something that you like so um that's that's how you do this and you're gonna do that for everything and remember to change the the edge of the of the avatar or whatever prop you have if you want the edge to uh give you a fine line or a thicker line okay uh in this case if we go to the visual tab and then we go to the third icon which is the toon shader icon you can modify that by increasing or decreasing the intensity or the thickness of the edge um okay remember that we did that in the first tutorial so you want to take care of that i also added in the effect tab which is the next one over uh, <clears throat> i added the mpr in this case i lower the mpr to zero but if i increase the mpr it's going to give me uh, a little bit more of that line the the difference between one and the other and this is just for icon 7 because icon 5 is not going to have it icon 6 i icon 6 it will have the mpr i believe uh but icon 7 gives you more more uh, choices and that's the reason why i like icon 7 but uh, the MPR will give you a more refined and more controlled detail of the line that's uh, making the figure or the shape of whatever avatar and props that you have in the scene. So just keep that in mind and play with it because if you want to do like a far shot, uh, you want to make sure the avatar looks really nice. So if it doesn't, just remember to lower that but remember always to be at frame one because whatever is in yellow or a, a greenish yellow uh it means that it's going to be modified in the timeline so if you change that value over here 
if you put it all the way over over to the top or to to the other end per se then uh it's gonna it's gonna put a marker right here and it's gonna change the value because it's it's greenish or it's yellowish and uh it's gonna be putting a marker right there so what if, whenever you change that value over the timeline uh, it's gonna place a marker for all these ones okay and i think as you can see if you can see it's actually changing that and if you want to actually make sure it's the same throughout the entire timeline then you will have to open up um, the project and you are going to have to look for the effect and you're going to have to move all those uh, markers or delete markers whatever you want to do so with this i finished this other tutorial and i didn't go through everything in detail uh like doing it manually because i did it before i started this tutorial i knew it was going to take long right now we are at 11 minutes and i think that's more than enough for you you just need to play with those values again and keep modifying another thing i have to mention and that's the last one probably that i'm going to mention it right here is about the eyes okay uh if you select the avatar you go to the material section and you select the eyedropper just to choose the eyes of the avatar okay for the eyes you see that i added a glow as well if i go all the way down in the glow uh, which i'm not gonna do it i'm just gonna go to zero uh, or frame one i'm sorry if i say zero but uh, <laughs> i'm just used to it uh if i go to frame one and i see if i uh, put the glow all the way to zero okay that's that's how the eyes the natural eyes or the default eyes of the avatars look like but i increase that and i'm gonna go back and you see it it's gonna give it a, a more cartoonish look which is what you want actually and you can also modify the cornea of uh which is actually i modified the cornea i'm sorry but you can modify the eye and you have this uh, reflection you can also play with a reflection which is uh, this uh, whitish color over here at the edge of the of the of the eye and you can increase or decrease the, the reflection as you can see it'll give you more like tunish eyes depending on what kind of look you want if you don't want that well just lower it all the way to zero you don't have to delete it just leave it there you know but uh you can also play with that just want to let you know that and with this i finished this other tutorial thank you and um, if you have any questions go ahead and ask me if i have time i'll answer them if you, there's something regarding that tutorial then i'll consider it uh, because i don't really have that much time right now